All right, guys, as you can see behind me, it's suspension time for the Raptor. We're here at Mike's Shock Shop. They are specialists of most things, but they do a specialist kit for the Raptor where they take my suspension out, revalve the factory Fox shocks, and then use a, a spring spec to their, their specs, which is essentially keeping the car driving like it was, but you get that extra height out of it and an even better shock setup. So I'm really pumped with that. We're also gonna get 35s on today and go over a few things here and show you some of the crazy shit they do around this workshop. All right, so we will talk to Mr. Mike when he gets here. He doesn't like being on camera at all though. But what we're talking about is whether to lift the front and rear or just the front at this stage. My old one only had the front lifted um, but Mike's had revisions on the suspension since then. But there's also things I'm planning to do to the rear of this car, so I'm sort of just umming and ahhing uh, with exactly what to do this time around. Definitely going up in the front regardless. Um, I hate the, the raked look, um, but I'm not sure whether to lift the back yet. I would prefer it to be a little bit higher in the front than the back. Not Cali lean as such, but just a you know a smid you know an inch higher in the front than the back. I, I like the look of that better. I like the way it feels inside the cabin. It's a not more comfortable feel inside the cabin. It's more like sort of laid back, I guess. So I don't know. I'm still thinking. I probably should have thought about this heaps more before I got here. So these are finished. All done, mate. Finished, did. Pretty blue shocks. Where's the my shop shop sticker? Or do you no, put them on after? We'll flap them on after. I slap them on after. <laughs> right. So revalved, and then is it a heavier spring or is it, it is, lifted mate, yeah. longer? What's the, it's a, the it's sitch? A, it's a longer spring, but a, a lighter spring. So it just gives you that bit of extra height, uh, ride height, but softer ride. Okay. Nice and plush. Excellent. And then obviously revalve to suit the height because that's the most important Correct. thing that people don't realize, yep. especially with these, is you need to revalve the shock to suit the higher lift. A lot of dudes are going out and just putting bigger springs in yep. and then the car never rides the same no, or correct. definitely yeah. nowhere near as good. Yep. So you need that. Is it the bypass or something to be yeah. set at the right height? The internal bypass or the piston has to, um, there's a series of holes inside the cylinder um, and it just has to be at the right height to hit all those holes and, and work properly. To be efficient, essentially. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Rad. Well, it definitely, these went amazing in my last Raptor. And that's the one thing I never had a drama with was suspension wise in the Raptor. It was just everything else fell apart around it. <laughs> so yeah we're only going with the front lift today um i think we will end up doing a rear lift but in the future like i said i've got some things planned for the back of the car so i don't necessarily want to go revalve and spring the back of the car when i have future plans that would include weight and things like that in the back of the car which then i'd have to revalve and respring again so it's pretty well pointless so 
Now it's back to um, back to you, sir. Back to you. Mm -hmm. Back to you. <laughs> He's finished Ready his job. And uh, while that's been happening in here, we've gone ahead and ripped off the mud flaps all the way around. Uh, 35s interfere with the mud flaps, so got rid of the mud flaps front and back. I've already got a set of 35s on the back, and yeah, deleted the mud flaps. Chuck them in the back somewhere there. Um, I'm so pumped to see this out the front, like with the front lift and stuff. Someone else with a Raptor here. Imposter. It's not fully settled yet, but it is sitting down already. I'm pumped, looks a million times better. Just the front was so low, it looks so weird. And having 35s on it as well, just brings the car to life in my opinion. So really stoked on the lift. I had an alignment done and I wasn't, I really wasn't stoked on the wheel alignment. I still get a lot of wheel rub. Um, then I looked at the paperwork they supplied me and turns out they put way less caster in one side than the other. So I'm not gonna talk shit and name drop who they are, but I'm not stoked on it. Um, but I'm down here at Jacob's Tires and you know you're in the right place when a Lotus is pulling out super rad lotus um but yeah here at jacobs to get a wheel alignment done so yeah anyway we're down here at Jacobs getting a professional alignment this time because, yeah, really wasn't happy and it seems um, the other business just was a bit lazy and they've only put, I think, at three degrees caster on one side, on the side that's rubbing and four degrees on the other. So basically just lazy on their behalf. So we get a fix down here with the professionals. So I'm just standing next to the hoist while alignment's getting done and I just realised that they put in a new piece on the bottom of these Raptors that the old ones didn't have. This guard here, this bash plate, covers the transfer case. Um, they didn't have that in the old model. So that's something notable. So for anyone that has gone from the old Raptor to the new one, that is definitely different. And then also the plastic shields they put over this area here. My other one had one that I guess wasn't very good. Um, and this is a different style of plastic cover now over the rear arm. So can't see necessarily anything else that's changed, but that is definitely new. All right, made it back home. Um, alignment is all schmick, absolutely sorted out now. Now I've got this, which is a carbonish look piece that literally goes on top of the tailgate because I did have issues with the old one with scratching the top of it, just putting stuff in. And then I also got these um, corner lights for the indicators. I'm gonna go ahead and fit everything right now. So I've got one of the indicators on, I'll show you guys quickly. So this is your standard, super, I don't know, clear 
just regular light and then this is the other side now with the uh, blacked out light and I'll just hit my indicators for a second so you see there the uh, much nicer little LED strip that sort of passes along happy with that again keeping with that minimalistic black on black with the grey look that I'm chasing and I'm, I'm quite liking so I'm just going to do the other one now not too hard just got to pop the mirror cap off and then get in there and plug the indicator literally straight into where the globe would be pretty easy job to be honest Overall, super stoked with everything that's happened on the car today, guys. Lift, 35s, um, LED mirrors, and that protective piece for the back. Pretty bloody successful day. We're gonna head down the track now. Thanks heaps for watching this one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We've got some drifting com content coming up, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah.